I'm excited to show you a product that's going to take your propane safety to the next level. So what I have in my hot little hand are two safety devices that attach to your propane tanks. So the first safety device I have is the, is the pole connecting valve. So this one will be used for fixed propane tanks like what I have here on Ruby. The second one is a quick closing coupling and this one will attach to tanks commonly seen in travel trailers and or fifth wheels. So what makes these um, extra special and unique is that they're designed to shut off your propane tank 100%. So if the, the line gets cut, it'll cut it off automatically, no questions asked, done. And some of the leak causes could be uh, tire blowout, um, loose fittings as you're traveling down the roads. We all know that the roads aren't smooth. Um, critters that get in there and, and eat the lines. Uh, could be uh, older lines that just rupture over time due to dry rot. Um, and one of the big ones is a line melting or bursting due to a fire. Another cool thing about this valve is that it comes with a uh, tank fill gauge. So it tells you exactly how much you have in your tank. It also acts as a minor leak tester. Um, and in order to do that, you'll have to refer to the web page or the instructions that come with the packaging. And a good bonus is it's got a five-year warranty. Both of the valves that I've shown you here today are made out of brass, and they are all individually tested before they're shipped out. So they don't leave the factory unless they pass their um, standard testing. All right, so let's see what these valves can do for you. So we're going to run a couple tests here and show you how the gas stop will stop the um, leak once it happens. The first test is going to be without the gas stop attached to the propane tank. I'm going to open the gas valve and I'm going to simulate the, the line busting when I remove the clamp. You'll see, you'll, you'll hear the gas escaping. So you can see it coming out, you can hear it, and you probably saw it shot, shoot out. Now I'm going to cut the propane off and I'm going to take the hose off and I'm going to attach the gas stop valve to this tank. So I'm going to attach the hose and I'm going to open the propane valve and then for, with this valve you got to prime it so you push down on the gauge and it tells you how much gas you have in and I know it's pressurized. Now I'm going to simulate the propane line being cut when I remove the um, clamps to this hose we should hear nothing nor, nor see anything. Nothing's coming out. Quiet. Can't smell anything. So the gas stop valve did exactly what it was supposed to do. 100% shut off a major leak. As you can tell by the test, it completely shut off the gas. So this is exactly why I want to add this to Ruby. Uh, with our front tire being real close to our propane system, I don't want to take any chances of a ruptured line and then this propane just leaking uncontrollably, which could cause a fire. So now I'm going to take the pole connection and I'm going to attach it to my onboard propane tank. A couple of things that I have to do beforehand is I have to remove this cover that's over both the regulators. I've already taken the screws out so I'll just pop that off. First thing I'm going to do is make sure the propane is turned off. Okay, off. And remove the line. I'm going to attach the pole valve to the existing line.
Make sure that's good and tight. Now I'm going to attach the valve directly to the propane tank. Make sure this is on good and tight. Now that I've got the uh, valve attached, I'm going to turn the uh, propane on and I'm going to test and make sure there's no leaks. Okay, the propane is on. I've pressurized the valve. I don't hear anything, so I'm going to now use a soap, soap and water um, concoction to make sure that there's no bubbles or leaks coming out. So the valve is on, the leak test is done, I'm good to go there. Uh, it only took a few minutes once I, I um, had the lines attached. The one thing I did have to do is I had to adjust where my regulators are or were positioned. So I had to move them back probably a half an inch so that I had enough clearance with the hose and at the angle that the valve was. Other than that, it was a, a fairly easy install. No matter what type of RV you have, GasTop will work for you. If you're interested in GasTop, we'll provide a link below which will also include a You, Me, and the RV coupon code. Make sure you click the See More tab in the description box below. We were not paid to review this product, but we did receive the product for free. So I hope this video was informative and makes you think about propane and propane safety. Be sure to come back for more product reviews in the future. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the road. So what I have in my hot little hand are two um, pieces of... Uh, the pole stands for the company that... It, uh, uh, I didn't like that. Okay, do it again. Is that it has your standard, uh, ah, why can't I say it? What is it? Another nice feature with this valve is it's got a, um... Gauge? <laughs> no, not gonna get it. All right. I'm excited to show you a, ah, see, here we go. Why can't I just, when I'm, when you you're sure? up here, I can just wing it, but when it's me, I can't wing it. I'm feeding you. I am hungry.